Hey guys, welcome back. So for today, I'm doing my Christmas wish list. And I've seen people do this on Reels and TikTok and stuff like that. Um, and I thought it'd be a cute idea. I'm sure people do it on here too. Um, it's kind of like a gift guide without putting the pressure on myself to make it a full in-depth gift guide. This can give you guys some gift ideas for Christmas shopping um, and maybe give you some ideas of things you wanna pick up for yourself. You guys liked my spring wish list video, just things I wanted to pick up for the spring season, fashion, beauty, all that. And that's gonna be similar to today's video, um, but it also will be some Christmas gift inspiration hopefully um, so I hope you guys enjoy and to my friends and family watching this this is not like a huge cough cough hint hint um, I'm not doing this to like you know, get you guys to buy me these gifts um, I just had to say that this is just for fun most of these things I probably will buy myself like in the new year because um, I'm not really like sending people these things this is just like a grand wish list of things that I love just had to say that before this comes off really weird for those of you guys that aren't familiar with these kinds of videos um but let's go ahead and get into it okay i look like i'm about to do a seance or something don't try this at home um i just wanted to share this candle with you guys that i just got it's like a very luxurious delicious candle um it's from the brand costa brazil and i have a few things that i wanted to share with you guys before we get into the wish list um just because i think things like this are also great gifts and i'm collaborating with them on today's video so i wanted to share with you guys um so this is costa brazil i'm gonna blow this out because i'm kind of nervous about this but now there's smoke this candle is like my exact kind of scent that i like i hate overbearing candles i'm prone to headaches and migraines um so i don't like anything overly scented it smells really woodsy which is my kind of vibe i'm not into like the super fruity or sugary sweet kind of scent it's like rain woodsy but it also has a really nice luxurious scent to it like it smells rich dare i say a candle is probably the safest way you could go for a christmas gift especially someone maybe that moved into a new place or you know someone that just loves their home decor things this is a great one they will think of you every time they light it i also got their body wash and their body lotion i am a sucker for any kind of lotion all of their scents have the same similar kind of like jungle woodsy kind of scent and um, i've been using this lotion and i really love it it feels so fabulous like it's just like you know high end it leaves a really nice layer of moisture and it smells amazing but i love a lotion or just any kind of a body product like this for a stocking stuffer or maybe if you're doing a gift basket you could do like a really high-end gift basket and i also got their hand and body wash which is incredible i really love doing a matching body wash and body lotion because you really lock in that scent um because sometimes i feel like you use a body wash it smells really good but you don't really smell it you put your perfume and your lotion on or whatever and then that's what you smell like but when you do the body wash and then layer with the lotion you really lock in that scent and it smells so nice so that's just a few things i wanted to share with you guys from coast of brazil so make sure you guys check them out if you wanted to gift some self-care items this christmas now onto my wish list i think i have some really great things in here that i know i would love if you guys have anyone like me in your life <laughs> they would love it i think they're all actually really amazing gifts from multiple price points i think there will be some ideas for you in here even if you just you know got some inspiration wanted to pick it up for yourself um that is fine too that's what these wish list videos are so i hope you guys enjoy um but the first thing that i have been wanting since honestly last year and it was kind of like on my to buy list in early 2022 um, it was something that i knew i would get a ton of use out of and i wanted to purchase it i still haven't purchased it so it's on my christmas wish list maybe i'll buy it for myself as a christmas gift but um, i've really been wanting it it's the almond cow milk maker so this is basically so you can make your own almond milk at home almond milk is my dairy free milk of choice um, and i know that they say there's a lot of chemicals in it and a lot of filler and stuff like that i would love to start making my own so i could just feel a little bit better about it um, and I don't know what the cost is like, you know, compared to just buying almond milk to instead buying a whole thing of almonds because I know almonds are expensive. So would have to weigh out that option, but that's honestly not really as much of a factor as the health factor. I would just like to know that I'm drinking clean dairy-free milk and it'd also be cool to try out um, some oat milk. I have done the thing before where you, you know, soak your oats and then blend it and strain it it's not the same i don't know i just i feel like it doesn't really taste that great i'm sure i could be doing something different um, i know a lot of people that do that at home but um this just seems a little bit more practical for my life and it is on my wish list for sure i need to pick that up 
Um, if I don't get it for Christmas, um, that's fine. I'm gonna pick it up for myself in January. While we're on the topic of kitchen, I have two more things I want to share. I'm probably the only person in this world or in this country that doesn't have an air fryer at this point. I know that's not true, but I really want an air fryer this year. It's on my Christmas list. I feel like my dad might get it for me because I mentioned it, <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know which one I want. Maybe you guys can let me know which one is best. I'm just, I literally just Googled air fryer and I'm looking at the options on um, the Google shopping. Um, but I don't know. I think I would like a more compact one, something that still would look nice on the counter because to be honest, like my reason for not having an air fryer yet is that I just feel like I have so many tools already. It's like I have a food processor, I have a blender, I have a little mini blender, I have an instant pot, I have a crock pot. I don't have any more room. So I would ideally like something that could stay on the counter because I think for me, what I would use it the most for is probably leftovers. Um, I eat at home every single day because I work from home and for the most part I eat leftovers for lunch every day if I'm not making something fresh. And it would be really nice to heat things up in there because my sister has one, like everyone else. She has one and whenever I stay at her house, I use it the entire time I'm there because it's just so convenient and I just love the way things heat up in there. I'm submitting to the pressure and I really want one now. So that's something I really want and I think it'd be a great gift, like honestly. Okay, this one's kind of random, but I really loved this knife. When Marcus and I went camping, um, we rented a camper van and it came with like all amenities in the kitchen and stuff and they had this knife in there. I was chopping things up, cooking with it, all that. And I loved this knife. We were both saying what an amazing knife it was. It was like so sharp. It was probably like brand new too, but I just really love the quality. Um, it's the brand OXO, which I have their salad spinner. I know it's a great brand. Um, so maybe I would get some other knives from them too. And just like, you know, kind of revamp my knife situation. Um, it's OXO outdoor five and a half inches Santoku knife with locking sheath. <laughs> Not me about to say a knife is a stocking stuffer, but it's like, I mean, it would fit in your stocking. So just saying, but um, this is something that I just kind of want. I might pick it up in the new year or whatever. And the reason I keep saying in the new year is because like from this time until January, I try not to like buy a ton of things for myself. Just because you're buying gifts for everyone else, I'm trying not to spend money on myself. I want to save all that for my friends and family and focus on gifting others instead of shopping for myself. Um, so usually in January is when I like get inspired to pick up some new things for myself and treat myself a little bit and get some stuff that I want to take with me into the new year. Kind of revamping some things in my kitchen would be nice. Um, so I might check out some more things from this brand, but this knife was incredible and a great price too, because knives can get expensive and the quality was top notch. So really happy with it. Next is this wooden bowl from Pottery Barn. I have been talking about a wooden salad bowl for the entire year. I'm not kidding you. I've been looking for the perfect thing. I had one that I really liked, but it started getting kind of destroyed. Um, and I do want to, you know, kind of re, um, what's the word? stain it like sand it and stain it that kind of situation um because it was perfect because it's a larger salad bowl but it's low so it's really easy to toss it and mix it that also looks really pretty i just like loved my wooden salad bowl but i want another one and i've been eyeing this one from pottery barn it's the acacia wood salad bowl um they have them in three different sizes but i of course want the largest size because i always make giant salads especially for like family dinners or something um i really like that and i'm into the brown color i think the brown is really cool. The light wood is really nice too. That might be an option. And then they also have a black, which is pretty cool, but not really my style in the kitchen. Um, I like more neutral, just classic colors and the wood is that. So I'd probably get the 20 inch one and it is kind of pricey for like a salad bowl, but I do know that these acacia wood um, salad bowls are really nice, especially at Pottery Barn. They have a whole collection. They have charcuterie boards and serving platters and things like that. Um, but I'm really into the salad bowl. So that is on my list for sure. And I think it would be a really nice gift. I feel like it's something you maybe would give to someone maybe getting married or someone that just got a house. Um, but I also just think it's great if you know that the person in your life likes to cook, they like to entertain, they like salads. Like this is a great gift and it's like top quality, top notch. And if they don't like it, they can find something else at Pottery Barn because there's so many things to choose from. If it's that kind of person that likes these kinds of things, they will find something at Pottery Barn for sure if you guys include a gift receipt. So another thing I've been talking about all year is getting a... <laughs> I feel like honestly, some people say that I'm hard to shop for and I think it might be because I'm always buying stuff for myself. So it's like, you never know what I have and what I don't or what I need because I'm always buying things for myself. But I talk about things that I want like constantly. Like, I don't know. I'm always like, I really want a new diffuser like because of this, because of that. I just got my cheap one and I'm sitting here talking about these in these videos all the time. So I'm like always talking about 
things that I love and I'm posting things. So I feel like I should be an easy person to shop for because I do not keep like my wants hidden. Like I'm always talking about it. So on um, the list of things I've been talking about all year is a diffuser. I really wanted to get one in the new year. I wanted to get like a nice quality, um, good one. I've mentioned it in my videos a few times even. And I recently just picked up like a cheaper one from Amazon that I do really like. Um, it's a great quality one for the price, but I do want to get one from the brand Sage. And I found this one that I really like, and I think it's going to look stunning on my vanity and just add like kind of a nice vibe to my room. The Aroma Glow Ultrasonic Diffuser, and it's the best seller of theirs so I am trusting the people on that um, but I'm into the diffusers that kind of look like you know maybe like a piece of decor um, the one I have right now doesn't look like decor it does look like a diffuser but when I get a high quality nice diffuser I want it to be something that kind of fits in with the decor and just kind of meshes well with the style of my room and this one's really nice it almost kind of looks like a candle um, like a really large candle but I like that it's white and then the color that lights up is just like kind of a warm um, almost like candle light but with that I wanted to to get some nice essential oils um, and they have this set from sage that also if you guys know anyone that is into self-care maybe holistic health or anything this is a great stocking stuffer this is the aromatherapy 101 essential oil collection and they have a lot of different options depending on the vibe you want to go for but this one has eucalyptus orange frankincense and lavender which are kind of all my favorites it's just missing peppermint that's one of my favorite scents i use that for my headaches and i just really love the smell of it uh, but all of these are great scents, so I'd probably pick this up as, you know, a little bundle to go with my diffuser, and I think that'd be really nice, um, and something that's been on my wish list for a while, so we'll see if I pick it up soon. Um, I will share. Updates to follow. So I love matching pajama sets. I think this could be a gift for literally any girl in your life. It's like, you can't go wrong. A cozy matching pajama set is a luxury I think everyone should experience, and I actually got this one for my sister last year for Christmas, um, and now it's on my list this year. I have seen so many people talk about it and I need to just get it because it looks so comfy and I just like the matching set I'm like the kind of person that on a Saturday I'm in my pajamas until 2 p.m. so it's nice to have something that like looks decent <laughs> like it looks like pajamas but you you know it's matching you look like you somewhat have your life together and they're so comfortable it's just like my favorite thing I want to get the skims pajamas they look so cozy there's a thousand colors um, and it's not on sale right now so don't feel pressured to buy it <laughs> I can wait and um, I also think just if you wanted to get it for someone in your life fantastic gift like these are high quality they're gonna last a long time a few years ago I got a few of my girlfriend's pajamas and I know they all loved them it was like something that people don't always think to buy for themselves and then when they get it as a gift it's like so appreciated so I think it's a great way to go and you just really can't go wrong um, but this is on my list for sure I'll probably get the black just because it's neutral but they really have so many colors you could do many different things but it looks so soft and so cozy and I've always heard amazing things about them from people on Instagram and just like friends too so something that will definitely upgrade your life or the person you're gifting's life I I need it and in that same vein slippers I need a new pair of slippers I pretty much ask for these every single year my dad always gets me slippers I really want some Ugg slippers I like I said I work from home I'm home all the time I wear slippers all day long I'm like that kind of person that always have to have something on their feet I never ever walk around barefoot like I just I don't know why my feet get so cold and I also um, I just feel like it's more comfortable to have something on my feet. My feet are kind of sensitive. I think it's because I was, you know, unfortunately blessed with flat feet. My feet are very sensitive. Blessed being sarcasm, obviously. Um, my feet need like support all the time. So I always wear slippers around the house and I don't know which ones I want yet. I really like any of them would be nice. Like I just want, I think probably a classic pair, just the slip ons with maybe a little bit of platform, just something that has a decent amount of support and um, the fluffy, you know, little front thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'll put a picture on the screen. I'd be happy with chestnut, but I also really like gray because they're just like always in my room and I like them to be neutral. Candles, slippers, and pajamas, I think are all foolproof gifts and then an even better gift if you bundle them all together if you guys wanted to do like a nice little self-care set I love a themed gift like a self-care cozy you could throw in a blanket um, that's also great for like a new mama or someone that maybe is going through a hard time um, I think that is just like the best gift you can give because they will get use out of it and it's really thoughtful so the next I have a pair of sneakers um, that I really want I might pick these up myself my sister did ask me for gift ideas and I sent her these so um I don't know 
maybe I'll get them. If not, I'll get them in the new year because um, these have been on my list of things I've been wanting to pick up for a while. They're the Reebok Club C Double Sneaker. Um, and I want these just as my new all white shoe. I always wore my Air Force Ones, but I just am like so over those. Those are just like not really the vibe for me anymore. Um, so I wanted something different and I really like this shape. I like how they're a little bulky. Um, I think they're gonna be a great everyday sneaker to just go with anything. And um, they've been on my list for a while. So I really, really want these. And they also have them with the black stripe. So I would be happy with either, um, but the all white is nice. Uh, my friend has the black stripe. Hi Faith, if you're watching. I said this in my last video and I don't know if you saw it, but hi. Um, she has them and I was like, oh my God, I've been wanting those shoes and they look so cute. She's worn them with dresses. She wears them all the time and they look so, so cute. So next thing I don't really have an exact link to or like know which one I want. I'm seeing a lot of them at Forever 21. Um, but maybe you guys can help me out if you know where I can get a good one. I really want one of these like quilted bomber jackets. I feel like I always see people wearing them. I never really know where they're from, but I think they're so cute and something really great to get for, you know, the fall and winter. Um, it's just kind of a good throw on jacket. They look cozy, but they also look really cool. And I would be happy with any color. I've seen a lot of green ones. Gray is cool. I probably wouldn't do black just because I have so much black already. Um, but it's, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like one of those, like it looks loose and comfortable. It's not stiff at all um, but it has like a really cool vibe to it so that's something that I'm kind of wanting not like necessarily a Christmas gift idea um, but mainly something I want to get for myself for the winter that's kind of what this is this is like Christmas gift idea slash winter shopping list like things that I want to buy for myself so that's one thing maybe you guys can let me know um, and while I was searching the Urban Outfitters gift section I love their little gifts they have such cute like random little things I always pick up a few things every year um, for people in my life I saw this shoulder bag it's called the Mona shoulder bag I think it's so cool and I'm always like looking for a new purse like I'm just like forever buying purses because I wear them so much and I feel like it really completes an outfit so I'm really into this all black one. It has these silver embellishments all the way up the side to the shoulder. And I think it's just kind of a really cool style and something I know I'd get a ton of use out of. It looks like a decent size, which is great. I love a shoulder bag, but most of my shoulder bags are small because that's just kind of the look. This is a nice in between where it's still a shoulder bag, but it's medium size, so I'll be able to fit some more things in there. Um, it just looks like a great bag. So I might send this for Secret Santa because we are doing Secret Santa with Marcus's family and the cap is $50 and we just like send a bunch of ideas to our group chat um, just to make it easier because it's like you know it's hard to buy things for people that's really cute but something else at urban and something I've been talking about for a little bit too I really want a record player and I don't know when I'm gonna get this because I haven't told anyone I want it for Christmas or anything um, but I really want one. I think it'd be really nice, like a really cool vibe. And I would like the idea of like looking for some vinyls at the thrift stores and vintage shops and finding like some cool things. I always look through them and I never have any reason to buy them because I don't have a record player, but I do really want one. And this one is $100 from Urban. It's the Crosley Voyager Bluetooth record player. Oh, so it's a Bluetooth? Wait, do you put an actual record on this or is this just like a look? I don't know. You guys can let me know which record player is the best. I'm sure there's a better place I can get one. Maybe a nicer quality one. Maybe you guys can let me know if you guys have any experience with them. Um, I just really like the idea of like putting a record on. Like sometimes I'm listening to some music and I'm like, this would sound so good on a vinyl. That sound is so nostalgic and obviously not for my childhood because we didn't play records because I was born in 1995 but you guys know what I mean. So it's something I've been thinking about. I think I would just like wake up in the morning and put a record on and like do my morning routine with that just like softly playing in the back. Like that sounds like a vibe, you know? So we'll see. I'm gonna check it out. If you guys give me any input, maybe you can help me out. But yeah, something else on my shopping list is a new duvet cover, but I really want the duvet cover from See Joe Home. It's just a really nice fluffy, white soft duvet cover i just recently got their sheets and the reason i found out about them in the first place is because my sister has all c joe bedding and i was like wait her bed is the best every single time i stay there i'm like i have the best sleep her bed is so cozy i'm like i need every single detail of your bed because i want to replicate it at home because this is like a cloud and she has the best sheets the best duvet it's like everything so she said she just recently got all of her bedding from see joe she got new sheets she got a new duvet cover a duvet insert pillowcases all that so i was like i'm about to order literally everything but then i thought 
let me email them and see if they want to collaborate and we collaborated on their sheets so i was really excited i got to share the sheets with you guys and i was able to try out this brand that i've been wanting to purchase from and work with them so it's super cool and now i want to pick up the duvet cover because i'm very happy with the sheets and of course i already know my sister has the duvet and i know it's great quality it's comfortable i've slept with it so i really want to pick this up i really just want like a plain white duvet i want plain white bedding and i think it looks neutral and nice i'm really into that so that's on my shopping list and it's on sale right now again it's like everything's on sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, Cyber Weekend. I feel like they call it Cyber Week, whatever. Um, and I'm like tempted to buy it, but I don't want to. So um, we're going to wait. We're going to wait for the new year. I do have a code. I'll put it on the screen. It might just be Truly Jamie or Jamie 10 or something. Um, if you guys want to check them out. Next thing I really need, really just like for my business and for Instagram and for all the things that I do, I want to get a new tripod for my phone because I film a lot of content, you know, for reels and I don't really do TikTok anymore because TikTok stresses me out. So mainly for reels and Instagram stories. Um, I need a new tripod. So I found this one from this brand called Loom Cube. They have so many amazing things for creators and um, just like filming. Um, so this one is just the mobile creator stand. You could use it for your phone, but also for a camera because I do have a small vlog camera. So it would be multi-use. This one seems like a good one. So um, that is on my wish list for sure. So that's everything on my Christmas wish list slash winter shopping list. I hope you guys got some gift ideas. There is one gift idea that I wanted to share that isn't on my wish list because I already own it, but it is a Kindle. If you guys have a bookworm in your life or someone that wants to get into reading, a Kindle is honestly the best gift you can give. I'm actually gifting one to my friend today for her birthday. She has been more into reading and I feel like she's been very Kindle curious. Every single time she's at my house, she like wants to look at my Kindle and it's like exploring it and like trying to figure out if it's something she'd be into. Um, I know people always love to say like, I like the a real book I like to hold the physical book but you will never look back once you have the Kindle a real book is nice but I feel like I read so much faster on my Kindle I'm more inclined to pick it up I'm more inclined to bring it with me everywhere um, I just read so much more and it's there's just so many benefits to it and Marcus actually gifted it to me like two birthdays ago and I've read 20 books this year alone and I plan to read a few more before the year's over um, I just love it I think it's a great gift and it goes on sale a few times a year it's on sale for like this cyber week Week situation. I don't know if it'll still be on sale when I share this video, but um, it's a great gift if you wanted to spend like a little bit more on someone. It's like just above $100 and um, I think they will love you for it. If they are a big reader, for sure, they will get a ton of use out of it. It's just a great gift. So I have the paper white. I'll link it below. Just wanted to share that really quickly. Just a little one more gift idea for you, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas and good luck Christmas shopping. I know it's stressful, but try to not stress out too much. I really don't have much more advice for you because I'm a big stressor. Like I, that's all I could really say. Like, I'm sorry. I have no tips or no tricks. I'm just trying to help you with this and maybe give you some ideas. Just wanted to share my unofficial gift guide, shopping list. I don't know, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you're enjoying the videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.